Hi, Dr. Daniel Siegel. It's wonderful to have you with us today. Oh, pleasure to be here, Tanya. Great to, great to see you. Yeah, Dr. Daniel Siegel, one of my favorite books as the co-founder of the Institute of Child Psychology is The Whole Brain Child. Um, I've read it several times. I actually don't even want to show you my copy because it's been used <laughs> so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just wanted to touch base with you on the book, find out what inspired you to write it, what has inspired parents around the world, what's the, the type of feedback that you've been given. Um, so I'll pass it over to you. What's, what's it, what inspired you to write the book? Yeah, well, thank you very much. Um, you know, when uh, I was becoming a father, uh, it was in the late 80s, and there wasn't much written really that gave you the science of attachment and the science of things like relationships or the brain or just biology in general. So I was kind of frustrated, I got to say, but I was also just becoming a researcher in parent-child relationships. So the course of becoming an attachment researcher, becoming the training director in child and adolescent psychiatry uh, at the university I was at, UCLA, and then ultimately becoming a therapist and then having two kids, you know, I um, started this uh, mission really to say, what is the mind? How does the mind develop? And how can parents best use that information? Mm -hmm. So in the course of that, I wrote a textbook that ended up being for undergraduates and graduate school called The Developing Mind. And when I was giving a lecture on that textbook, uh, one of the students in the lecture, uh, Tina Payne Bryson said, can I come study with you? Mm -hmm. So that was in the competing school across the, the, uh, <laughs> the city. So I said, if you're willing to come to the competition, please do. So <laughs> Tina came over and she started studying with me. We had some immersion groups and she was such a gifted teacher that you know I started working with her to talk to her about teaching, you know, for this field that I was working in interpersonal neurobiology. And by that time she had started when we met with one little six month old at home. And by the time she was really into teaching and with me and things like that, she had three. Wow. Mine, mine were getting much older, you know, into their adolescence. So we said, you know, the, her, she was using the whole principle of interpersonal neurobiology summarized in the developing mind to raise her kids. And another book that I had written with my daughter's preschool director, Parenting from the Inside Out. So we began what now is, you know, a four-part series of books, The Whole Brain Child being the first, No Drama Discipline, uh, the second, Yes Brain, the third, and then our latest one, The Power of Showing Up. You know, and each of them uh, looks at really what the experience of parenting or teaching is from a very scientific lens, but then makes it very practical. So in The Whole Brain Child, for example, we took this notion that you can in fact define what the mind is and you can look at what a healthy mind is and you can teach parents how to help their children develop a resilient, healthy, joyful, compassionate, caring mind. Mm -hmm. And we just took all that from the developing mind, the scientific book and translated it in a way that Tina does so beautifully in this book that we wrote together called our first of our series, The Whole Brain Child. And it's a joy because she is such a wonderful um, teacher and gifted clinician, great mom, and incredible um, storyteller that can use her experiences with her three boys. And we could, you know, use our own different anonymous ones, you know, from different people we know with kids, uh, you know, to write actual examples of stories of actual experiences parents have, ways of applying the principles of what we call integration. Mm -hmm. So this is what you uh, will find from an interpersonal neurobiology lens is that we not only say what the mind is, but we say what a healthy mind is. And we talk about a process called integration. So in the whole brain child, what you learn is what can I do as a parent to in five different ways that we outline in the book to make it accessible with stories and examples and practical sample scripts, if you will, of here's what you know this person said that didn't quite work, here's what they said that worked, and even parts of the book that you can read to your kids themselves. And we've had so many parents tell us the kids loving, re love reading those parts of the book, you know, mm -hmm. like whole brain kids for the kids themselves. Yep. Anyway, so that's what the book is. It teaches you how to integrate things and, it sounds kind of strange, the word integration, but it basically means 
seeing how different things are, are different, like the higher part of the brain and the lower part of the brain, or the left and the right side, or how relationships allow a parent to be different from a child, and then how you link together in a compassionate ways, and in these effective ways, create in your relationship integration, that creates integration inside the brain of the child. So this is why we call it the whole brain child, because if you think about whole brain as integrated, meaning there are different networks that exist, allowing them to really flourish and thrive in their individuality within this brain system, but then you learn how to help them come together and link them. So this is why we call it the whole brain child. And it's, uh, it's just exciting to have not just that book, which you know people, uh, resonated with, but all the other books in the series, which really extend and expand um, different aspects of the way you create integration to create uh, the relational experiences that help a child thrive. Yeah, oh, beautiful. You know, when I teach it to parents, particularly when I teach the hand model of the brain, yeah. um, I just love those aha moments and parents where they go, wow, I understand this. I actually get it for the first time. And that really they are the key people who are going to create shifts in their children's lives. It's not some therapist in an office, it's the parents. And I think that's yeah. what I loved most about your work is that we've really given the power back to parents. Yeah, exactly, Tanya. And I think it's empowering and, you know, it's really informing because, and maybe, you know, Tina got her doctoral degree studying attachment and, stuff like that. And, you know, as a physician and attachment trained researcher myself, um, and, you know, writing all these books, uh, this book, for example, The Developed Mind, which is the textbook that has all the science in it. Um, when I did the third edition that, that just came out, you know, it's like, um, I think what, what allows Tina and me to have the joy of writing together, of because we're both parents, and then connecting with not only our spouses who share stories with us, you know, but with the, with the, with the reader saying, look, here's the science. And, and maybe because I have this graduate school textbook in its third edition, which has, you know, thousands of references and 500 pages long. If you want to read that, please do, but you don't need to. Because what we've done is we've taken everything that is carefully articulated with references everywhere in that book and said, let's make this practical. Let's make this fun. Let's make this effective. And let's empower parents so that not everyone likes science. I mean, I happen to love science. Tina loves science. You know, we're science geeks and we're parent educators. So this is where, you know, like some people will say, well, what about the science of this or that? Well, you know, I just had 18 interns working with me to re revise this book. So I'm happy to take any questions where people say, what about this, what about that? You know, the science is there, now let's make it accessible for parents. And that's basically what we've done with our series. It's beautiful. Dr. Siegel changed the way I practice as a clinician and it also changed oh. the way I parent my own two little girls. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that, Tanya. Thank you so much for the work you do and thank you for the feedback because, you know, it's hard to write a book and it's certainly not lucrative to write a book. You know, you know, you do it for love, really. And every time Tina and I do this, it's like, you know, um, you know, it's just in us to do it. And uh, uh, so uh, it's just, it's a real, a real honor. And it, it really means a lot to us to get feedback because that, that's actually the, that's the only reason we do it if it's going to be helpful. <laughs> love, sweet, and tears. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Daniel Siegel. A pleasure, Tanya. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. You too.